How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? What is up, people of the internet? x one here, coming at you with a new Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty unboxing video. It's my favorite one to do. Stick around. Welcome back, everybody. It's my favorite time of the month. It's actually my favorite time of every other month because it's Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty unboxing. There's a little, little tiny BB-8 on here. That's cute. This is a monthly, no, I'm sorry. It's a every other monthly. It's a bi-monthly uh, subscription box. So I didn't get one in December, which is weird because that's when the movie came out. But they gave me one this month. So the next one will be in March. Not February, when it's my birthday. And it would have been very cool to get something on my birthday. But whatever. Anyway, this amazing sexy beast is the only official Star Wars bounty box crate of awesomeness that you can get. I will put a link below where you can get your very own. Yeah, that sounds cool, right? Alright, cool. So without further ado, and without me wasting any more time than I already have wasted, I'm going to open this. I don't know what's inside. I'm excited. I had scissors. Oh, there we go. Boom. I'm actually recording from my computer webcam today and not my phone like I usually do. Because... For whatever reason, the audio on the phone gets unsynced with the video of the phone, and it's a bitch to freaking put it back together. Alright. Let's see what it looks like. Woo! Cool. Let's see. And, like, the last one that we got, they have a little patch on the top and a pin. And the patch is a... It's stuck. It says resistance with a rebel logo and a little tiny BB-8. That's cool. I'm saving all these patches to one day put them on my airsoft uniform so I can really look nerdy while I'm out there shooting noobs. Try roll. And we have a, uh, it looks like Poe. I guess that's Poe. A Poe, uh, pin. A Poe pin. Haha. -ha. Oh, come on, camera, focus. Focus it. If you can tell, that's Poe. I'm not sure if it's Poe, but it's definitely some just resistance pilot, X-Wing fighter. That's cool. All that stuff, that's neat. But let's actually open it and get to the good stuff inside. I see a shirt that looks awesome. Oh, uh, they really package this stuff pretty well. Look at that. That's a shirt, and it looks amazing. Oh, man, what's in it? What is the shirt? Let's open up the shirt. See what it is. Okay, it's definitely a Funko Pop vinyl figure-looking shirt. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. All right, sweet. So, look. It's just a straight-up Star Wars Force Awakens shirt, but in, like, vinyl Funko Pop figure form. That's pretty sweet looking. Let's look at ooh Funko Pop. And I do not have this one. Whoa, what the hell? All right, I have a complaint. Uh, this is not good. It's f I don't know. Is it supposed to be fucked up? <laughs> uh, it's a Chewbacca Funko Pop, and it's actually it's furry. It actually has fur on it. I can only. I only know that because I can touch it because look, the packaging is it's busted open. Look at this shit. What is that crap? I usually keep my Star Wars Funko Pops closed, so that's kind of that's kind of a bummer. Uh maybe look at that. It's like all smashed in in the corner. It's opened up. Uh I don't know what happened there. The main box itself, this box isn't damaged at all, so that must have that must have happened before they put it in the box. So, that's not good. I'm not very happy with that. Uh, unless, maybe I can fix this and unbend it and 
pop it back into place. I guess there's no, I guess there's no harm in me actually opening the box anyway now since it's freaking already opened. I I just got very upset all of a sudden. <laughs> it's a it's a bobblehead. I can't even get it out of the freaking package. Okay, there we go. Might as well just take it out. I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna try to un dent the dent if that's possible. This may be my favorite one though, my favorite vinyl pop. Because it's actually furry. Like it's crazy. You can t it's furry to the touch. It's pretty badass looking. I like this one. I'm very upset that the packaging came destroyed. Let me let's see if I can actually put it back in and not F it up. So they bent the box corner, see that? This, that's not good, whoever, I guess this is Funko that packaged it, I'm not sure. But that's not good, people get this shit to collect and you're gonna destroy the box. I may just leave that one plastic cover out and just leave it like this and, but I don't know, we'll see. It's actually like cut open right at the corner. Right behind where the sticker is, it's actually like sliced open, and it's like they slice it open, and they're like, hey, let's put this sticker over it so it won't be noticed. What the, I'm, I'm getting upset. Alright, whatever. I got, I put it back, I guess, for the most part, together. It is actually enclosed now, which is way better than what I got. So, alright, that has so far been the worst thing to happen to me with this box. Uh, I mean, look how, I mean, uh, whatever. Moving on, moving on. I'm not going to bitch about it. I did enough bitching. Holy shit. Collect the entire line of Star Wars Funko Pop housewares. I, this could be awesome. This may make up for the shitty packaging of the Funko Pop. If this mug's like, sweet. Let's see. This is packaged good. They have foam in here. Oh, that's awesome. And slightly kind of creepy looking. It's 3 CPO, but it kind of looks like a weird golden alien dude that's looking into your soul. That's the back of it. Lucas Films Funko. It's all officially licensed. I will. I don't know if I'll drink out of it. I may drink out of it. I may just use it to hold pens and whatnot in it. Well, that's cool. And I believe that is it. All right. All right. Uh, sorry for the mess. I have a bunch of other shit on this desk that is not related to this box whatsoever. Like this DeLorean flux capacitor. Back to the Future time sticker thing. Just, just ignore that. Just ignore that. Final review of this box. We got a pin that, to be honest, well, I'm trying to hold the camera up like where the camera used to be. The camera's right here. We got a pin. To be honest, I really don't give a shit for the pins, but some people do. So if you're into that, that's that's cool for you, I guess. The patch, which is cool. The BB-8 patch. We got. The mug, the creepy, <laughs> creepy 3CPO mug, C3PO, what the hell am I saying? Well, I like how that's red, I guess it's supposed to be like his little tiny red arm, but they make it, made it into a handle. Which we don't know why his arm's red yet, I, I want to know why that is like that. We got the sweet shirt, which I dig a lot, the sweet shirt, and we got the best worst item in the box because it's the best because this is by far my favorite pop that I have ever gotten in a crate. It, it it's, it's awesome. It's a Chewbacca one. It's amazing. It's furry. It's a bobblehead. But it came in shitty ass destroyed packaging. Like this was all ripped out and crumbled. I actually had to un unbend it to the best of my ability and try to pop it back in. So that's Oh, that's negative points right there with the packaging because ah, 
I really would have liked to have to not open this to fix that, but whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, so far, this crate has been awesome. Uh, I guess I'll give it a letter, a letter grade of a B-. minus. It probably would have gotten an A if it wasn't for the fucked up packaging and crumbled packaging. That's like, that's important, okay, to collectors to have nice... Awesome packaging. Remember that next time. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm done bitching about the destroy packaging butcher job. And I got to get back to work because I'm on my lunch break. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, everybody. Don't stop being adorable. Oh, before I forget, me and Sean, we were planning on doing some more geocaching videos. But it got like ridiculously cold outside so we don't feel like going outside and dealing with that uh i don't know when the geek fuel's coming in i didn't receive it yet we should be getting it probably within the next seven days or so so sean and i will be making another video of doing that and i'm debating on if i want to start up another let's play series of a video game i'm not sure we'll see all right i'm done talking now thanks for watching don't stop being adorable. Next time, get your shit together, Funko. Don't give me no more destroyed boxes. Jerks.